Activity 4, Rate of Change. This is a part of Unit 2, Modeling Linear Relations. What is a slope? Slope is the ratio of rise to run, given by slope is equal to rise over run. People have agreed to use the letter M to represent the slope, so we'll do that too. M is equal to rise over run, where M is the slope. Rise is the vertical distance between two points. So if we have a skier on a hill, the vertical distance between the top and the bottom is given by the straight line going perfectly vertical from the bottom to the top. That's our rise. The run is the horizontal distance between the two points. So that's going from the point on the left to the point on the right. That's our run. Notice that with slope, whenever we have a slope calculation, we're always going to be making a right triangle. That right triangle is going to be having a rise and a run directly perpendicular to each other. The rate of change in a linear relationship is another way of saying the slope of a line. Slope, rate of change, and first differences all end up being the same thing. Rate of change is equal to slope. In a linear relationship, you'll find many different types of slopes. These slopes tell us about the relationship between two values. Example 1. For every 10 minutes you walk, your body burns 46 kilocals of energy, assuming that you're 64 kilograms and you walk at a speed of 5.63 kilometers per hour. Now, although those are rather stringent conditions, we can still see how this could work for some people. The rate of change is the number of kilocals of energy burned for every minute of walking. So when we find the rate of change of somebody's body, we're finding it as 4.6 kilocals per minute. So rate of changes that are common are like speed, amount of dollars per hour, other items that compare an amount versus another amount. The rate of change or rate at which your body burns calories in this specific situation is 4.6 kilocals per minute. This rate tells us the relationship between time spent walking and burned calories. You know that if you were to walk 100 minutes, you would burn 460 kilocals of energy. Example 2. The slope of a wheelchair ramp is usually 1 over 12. What does this mean? Well, it means that for every one unit of rise, there's going to be 12 units of run. This is important because most wheelchair ramps have to be built to specific situations that can help people out who are in wheelchairs. It describes the steepness of our ramp in this situation. For example, if you were to have a 12 meter horizontal distance, the ramp ascends 1 meter, or for every run of 12 units, there's a rise of one unit. In a linear relationship, you'll find many different types of slopes. Example 3. What is the pitch of the roof? Here we have a roof. It has a rise of 3 meters and a run of 6 meters. Calculate the pitch of the roof. Well, Builders refer to the steepness of a roof as its pitch. Steepness and slope are very similar. Try calculating the pitch of this roof and then come back to check and see if your response is the same as ours.